This is an unusually complex survey involving neighbours and a history of damp going back to, well, these images were taken in 2019, but I understand that it was going back a long way before that. The chimney breast here, although it was thought to be caused by rainwater, in my opinion, it was condensation because the bottom of chimney breasts get very cold from the heat loss to the subfloor void. You'll see other videos about it, as well as the top of the chimney. But these are not caused by penetrating damp from rainwater coming down through chimneys. If you did have it, it would be causing a brown stain at the top of the wall, not here. The, a lot of the issues come from the damp proofing treatment to the past. You'll see in the front, uh, this is the neighbour's front's wall. So this dampness on the chimney breast that starts about here goes round down there. It's caused by hygroscopic salts, calcium nitrate uh, that comes from burning of fossil fuels or coal more precisely. They're typically released from the internal brickwork by moisture. And in this case, I believe it's coming from condensation from the back of the fridge. If a fridge is in a humid environment, it can exacerbate the dampness. And if you look here, you've got a very damp section of wall here. And uh, this brown is caused by, is rusting. Now, it's possible that next door uh, has had an influence on it, exacerbated the problem. I don't know. One thing I did notice, though, is that on this side, it appears to have been damp-proofed in the past. So, suggests that there has, and, and here as well, suggests that there has been a history um, but the thing you have to realize is that we've got a lot of condensation in this property so all of this this area here is caused by condensation uh, this is a bay bays lose heat rapidly and you have a high risk of condensation not least because you've got the kitchen has an extractor fan but the extractor fan doesn't go out uh, you feel the air up here uh, so any cooking any vapor from cooking um, is just going to condense on the cold wall similarly you've got the fridge here and the microwave and then you've got this the cold reveal behind that's got condensation as well uh, I will be looking outside, but um, if it was coming from the outside, you'd see a brown stain. Um, then the other thing you should see is that I've been measuring the subfloor humidity and 67% um, is normal levels of humidity. So there's not water coming from underneath the property. It's coming from within the property. Then you've got this wall here. Uh, Somebody's coming in, so I'll, I'll let, but we can discuss that later. So it's dry until here. And this is, this is your slurry, damp proof of slurry, that is making this impermeable. And what happens is the condensation force on the interface between the slurry and the slurry is on your side and and the permeable plaster the normal plaster uh, and gypsum is the old name for calcium sulfate and it's calcium sulfate that's dissolving from the plaster from cement and is blistering this um, wall uh, i would suspect that your neighbor's um, damp proofing treatment is over here because they're having the same effect. They, they are blocking the water from evaporating from their side and forcing it onto your side. Um, I don't think there's any law to stop 
somebody from doing that. The only thing that uh, the Party Wall Act will forbid anyone doing is drilling into the wall and inserting damp proofing cream without uh, Party Wall consent. But your predecessors may just as easily have done that as your neighbours. So uh, the, the point is, though, is that it's condensation that's causing the damp. It's a form of condensation, it's damp proofers condensation caused by their slurry, but you wouldn't have it without having high levels of, of humidity and uh, you can see all the, the uh, humidity here. You're starting to get mould growth. Um, this is moist, getting mould behind here. Uh, this is all from condensation. If you were getting penetrating damp, you get a brown stain and you don't have that. So, so, well, so to this was the what the housing association yeah. and, and was a damp proofing treatment, do you know? Yeah. Okay. So it's not nice and dry here. But but you're getting dampness around the so what you get is um a damp issue between the damp proof as plaster which is slurry yeah, it's like yeah. plastic and the normal plaster yeah um okay all the chip there done put a new vent in here uh, there's a vent upstairs and all okay so i put a new floor on it you got a new floor as well yeah so looking at the bay from the outside you can see there's been damp proofing treatment that's these these dots here, uh, um, oh, it looks a little bit dilapidated up there, but that's not going to account for the internal dampness. What causes the damp is the heat loss. You've got extra surface area on the outside, so you're going to lose a lot of heat, plus the way the um, insulation works with the cornering. Uh, and we'll have a look at the other side of the window. Uh, this this type of coating can cause micro cracks and you can get dampness in behind here but it's not penetrating the whole way through. You've got the cracks there um, but what can happen is that water gets into the outside skin of brick and cools down because a uh, damp brick is a cold brick, is loses insulation rapidly causing increased um, risk of condensation. There's a lot of um, this, this needs to be uh, taken off, wire brushed off and repainted. Uh, these, these large um, metal wrought iron uh, down pipes can cause a lot of heat loss. You also get uh, leaks behind, but this one seems to be fine. If your neighbour. Uh, I understand that the uh, guttering was something that did, was done with the guttering, but it's, I don't think that's going to be causing any of your dampness. This can cause some internal dampness, but it's not penetrating through. It, you can get just increased heat loss. And then you've got more damp proofing treatment here. Good subfloor ventilation on the positive. Oh, you had, um, so that green algal growth there would be because water was overflowing the guttering, but I was told that that's been cleaned out. So you probably got some dampness upstairs. I'll have a look. So we're now in the rear reception and uh, about halfway, there's a, there you go. There's a large, uh, oh, and it goes all the way down. Oh, and uh, this is damp proofers line. So that is um, caused by penetrating damp on the outside. 